Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the artist Alberto Saveso. And you'll see in Photopia, I have already opened up a photograph of myself. And first thing I'm going to do is go to Image and Vectorize Bitmap. And that's going to take you to this screen. And I'll just zoom out for you so you can see how you've got your image on the left and the vectorized image on the right and it automatically chooses 20 layers which is what we want so all we need to do is click OK and it takes a bit of time but then it comes back as a vectorized bitmap with all these layers so the first thing we're going to do is get rid of the layers by going right click on the top and flatten image and that's taking it down to a flat image and then we're going to get rid of the background um, which is only a few clicks of the uh, magic wand and then pressing delete okay and then we're going to filter, stylize, find edges. And that is going to turn my piece into a lot of lines that look like contours. And then I'm going to go image adjustments, brightness and contrast and bring the contrast right down and the brightness down a little bit. OK, and that's going to make those lines a bit darker, a bit more defined. Click OK. And that's the contours that we're going to put onto our photo. So we need to open the photo again. So we've got it in another tab. There it is. And then using the rectangle select tool, we're going to select the whole thing, control C to copy it, and then control V to paste it into our project. Drag the layer down so it's below our lines. And then selecting the lines layer, from the drop down menu above it, choose multiply and that blends the lines downwards so they look like they're lines on your photo. Okay, then you grab the magic wand and you select the background and press delete and that gets rid of the background on your photo. And because I want this photo to be a little bit more dramatic, I'm going to go image adjustments, hue saturation and I'm going to whip up the saturation a little bit and I'm going to go image adjustments, brightness and contrast and bring the contrast up a bit and the brightness down a little bit. Just to, as I said, make the image a little bit more interesting. OK, right now I take the top layer and I go right click and merge down to merge those two layers together. And I can start taking this piece and turning it into parts. OK, so I'm going to use the lasso select tool and I'm going to draw a kind of curvy, blobby area around my eyes and down and just below my nose and then up and back round. And then I'm going to press control C and then control V to copy and paste that into its own layer. And you can see if I get rid of the other, there it is on its own layer. Then I'm going to double click on that layer and I'm going to go to drop shadow first. And you'll see it's got a bit of a shadow there already. I want to go normal and I want to turn the opacity up a bit more and I want the size to be quite high so it's quite blended. Okay, and I'm also going to outer glow turning it black, clicking OK, and going to normal again, and bringing the size up a bit more. Not that much though, just a bit. OK, and what I want is to put a glow around all of it, but more glow where the shadow is. OK, so I use the two in conjunction with each other. OK. Right, so now I have one segment drawn. I'm now going back to my layer and I'm going to grab the lasso select tool again. And this time I'm making kind of shapes come out from underneath the first shape. Okay, and it requires a bit of a steady hand. But you go up and around and then we do the same control C to copy it, control V to paste it into its own layer. Okay, and with the first layer, we're gonna right click, go to layer style and copy, 
And then on the new layer, we're going to go right click, layer style and paste. And that pastes exactly the same layer style, the shadow and the outer glow, onto the next bit. Okay, so you don't need to keep going to the layers menu just to do the same thing over and over again. You can copy and paste it. Okay, now I've got the lasso select tool again and on the bottom layer again, I'm drawing another shape, this time putting more kind of petals, if you will, coming out from underneath the two layers that I've already drawn and back up. Okay, and the same again, control C to copy it, control V to paste it in to its own layer, and the same again, right click on it, layer style and paste, and there it is with the shadow. And really, it's just about making sure you are continuing to copy this exact same procedure. So this time I'm going around the ear, in a bit, and out a bit, so cutting some chunks off, going back in, and then down and around. I think I'll go down around the mouth as well. Okay, and then back up and over to where I started and making sure I'm on the bottom layer, control C to copy, control V to paste, and there it is. And then right click as per the other layers, layer style and paste, and there it is on its own layer. Okay, and we just Keep doing this until we're happy with the amount of kind of petals and layers we have coming out from that original layer. And you could go all the way to the edge of your portrait. The choice is yours. And how big and small these petals you create are, again, it's completely up to you. Okay. And so in this one, I'm just going around creating more from where I've already done, back up, and then same, control C to copy, control V to paste it in, right click, layer style, paste, and the shadow's there. Okay, and you can just keep doing this over and over again. You could even make holes if you want. So using the lasso select tool on this layer, I'm making a hole there, pressing delete on the right layer, and there you go. So same here, make another hole, press delete. Now on a new layer, I press delete once I've made a hole, but I've got to make sure I'm on the layer. So I've got to go over, find the layer, press delete. There you go. Okay. So holes are quite easy to do as well. If you want your piece to have holes and feel really three dimensional with depth. Okay. Right, rather than bore you by making you watch me do the rest of these layers, I'm going to cut away and I will come back having completed all of this particular part. Okay, here we are with me having done all of the layers and I'm ready to get rid of that final bottom layer now so that you can see the piece as it should be. And I'm gonna click on Create Layer in the bottom right hand corner. And I'm going to use the color as black, click OK, and the Paint Bucket tool to fill the whole of that layer. Okay, and obviously I need to drag that down to the bottom because it's my background. And there we have it. Okay, so that's all my layers done and dusted with a nice black background, okay? Now we need to start thinking about how we can add various multicolored petals in and amongst the layers that we have created, okay? Right, so I'm gonna zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna grab the free pen tool. Make sure I've got a color fill, doesn't matter what color, no stroke, and I want to turn the tolerance up to around 50%, and if anywhere near there is fine. Okay, and then I'm going to start drawing kind of extra petals amongst the layers. And obviously that's right at the top at the moment. So I'm going to grab that layer and I'm going to drop it down so it's below that top layer. And you see the shadow casts nicely upon it already. But I also want to give it its own shadow. So right click layer style and paste 
and the same layer style as with the other layers goes onto it too so it has a nice shadow of its own okay then we get the free pen tool again and we're going down here now again whatever shape you like to make it look like a kind of petal poking out we'll go for a different color now and of course scrolling down until we get underneath the layers that we need it to be under and because that's an outside one we don't need to worry about the shadow around it um, so we'll go along one about here free pen tool as per the other ones draw it in go back to the original point and it's right the way down the bottom there so I've got to drag it up there it is and this time I'm going to change it to a nice green and it needs the layer style so right click layer style and paste and it's got a shadow of its own again okay some are free floating so I'm going to just do one over the top of the ear and come back to the original point there it is and this one I'm going to give a gradient to though so I'm going to go to that gradient button and I'm going to double click on there and it's going to open up this bar and I can double click on this handle and choose one color and click OK and double click on this handle choose another color click OK and it's going to make a gradient on that shape okay that's good and we'll come down here do one right down the bottom so free pen tool again and we'll come out here and it's exactly the same free pen tool draw your shape and it fills we're going to do a different gradient this time though I'm just going to change this side we'll change it for a nice blue there we go click OK and then I just need to drag this down again underneath whichever layer we're trying to get it under all the way down there we go lovely and because the shadow is already there it's cast nicely okay do one down in the beard maybe take advantage of that hole there so just have it coming kind of overlapping underneath that hole coming down and up again and we'll drag it up too far down a bit there we go lovely don't want it to be the same color though we'll go to the gradient change the pink side this time to an orange there we go click OK and again and that shapes a nice gradient too and that's really how you'll just keep going adding more and more of the petals until your piece looks a bit like this and that's this piece done and dusted i hope you find this tutorial helpful